it's like a, you guys see the Seinfeld when he, when, when George Costanza was trying to get fired and couldn't get, lose his job and still going to work every day. And that's, that's me. I'm a, I'm a Seinfeld uh, episode going on right now in real life. Is it an opening statement? Was that it? What do we got going? Yeah, well, I think you nailed it, Coach. We'll go ahead and uh, start with questions right here, please. Coach, uh, Eddie Pels from AP. Well, along those lines. Um, <laughs> Is there a storyline here? I haven't noticed yeah, this Yeah, I'm trying to tease one out of here, but um, what – has it been kind of twilight zony for you, or are you, you know? Absolutely, it's 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 been, it's it's. I keep saying it's 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 worth every job I've ever had to have the experiences I've had this week with my, with my players, with my family, with my spiritually everything. It's just been. Uh, I keep using the word surreal. Twilight zone might be part, part true. It's uh, it's been awesome. I mean, that the Monday of the of the decision you know was the hardest thing professionally you know you go through I, I guess you know top two because I went through it in Minnesota also but professionally is different than 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 your 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 rest of your life and I think separating them is hard sometimes but then to go to the to the locker room and tell the players you know it was super super hard obviously but to see their reactions you know as a as a parent or as a coach, uh, you're always disciplining your kids. You're always holding them accountable. You're pushing them. And you don't really know, you know, how they're taking it until they tell you they love you or they show you. And those guys showed me they loved me that day. And I'll never forget it. I mean, that was just all, all you need. And, you know, I've just have I've reflected this week that I don't have a job, but I, got, I don't need one. I've got everything I got with my family with my players, uh, with my friends. Uh, it's, it's been a life-changing week and, and in a good way. And, and next week I got a car payment, a house payment, and I don't know how it's gonna do it, but don't really care. Down here. Coach Alex Stewart up here from JSL.com. Um, you know, as a Big West guy, I've been following this, this just incredible run um, for the last week or so since you guys won uh, the Big West Tournament in, in Henderson. Um, you know, what? let's kind of rewind the clock back to the Big West Tournament last week. Like, when, when, did you, when did you start to realize during the Big West Tournament run that your kids were about to do something special? Like, when was it, when was it all starting to hit you? I think it hit me Monday uh, because... I wasn't prepared for our guys to, you know, to to react the way they did Monday when they, when they got the news. And and I said to him, I said, look, you know, we, we still have this week, and we have to, you know, uh, you know, uh, respect their decision. But they also could have not given us this week. And uh, I, I I have a little gratitude towards, you know, having this week because you know a lot of coaches don't. When when they when they when they're done they're done and and so let's take advantage of this week. But I said, we're in this together now. This is just us against everybody else. So if you guys need to take the day to gather, if you need to, you know, I was I said we were going to watch a little film and shoot today. But if you don't want to do that, great. If you want to do a little bit of it, so they 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 said let's just can we get 30 minutes by or not? They just said can we get a few minutes by ourselves? And it took about 30 minutes before they text back, and they said. Uh, um, we would like to watch a little film. So, you know, I come in there and it's, it's still, we got a couple of them that couldn't really watch film. They went into our other room and they're still, you know, couldn't get their emotions together. And you're watching film and you got hear guys sniffling and everything. And so the first, the first thing I said is, you know, just bonding together in this galvanizing is not going to be enough. Our defense has got to get better. We've got to be a better basketball team this week. And I said, just look at this first defensive clip, guys. I said, you know, we, we close out short here. I said, the guy's wide open. We don't get a contest. These are the kind of plays that would get a coach fired. And the whole room just broke up. And it just started right then. It was like, okay, you know, we're going to be all right here. And, uh, you know, we, we, we went to practice on Tuesday, and it was terrible. And, and I told him afterwards, don't cry in the locker room and say that you're, you know, this, this bothers you, and then come out 
and, and, and not practice well. Something's got to be different for us to be different. And when, when, to answer a long question here, I guess, the, that Wednesday, they would come off the bus in, 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 at a high school in, in, in Las Vegas, and I waited for each of them to get off the bus, and I knuckled them up, and I said, be different today, be different today. And it was maybe our best practice of the year, and that's when I'm like, okay, we got a shot here. And it, it just kept growing and growing as the week went on. Julian Minnesota KXLY in Spokane. Dan, what do you make of the uh, Go Zags. <laughs> what do you make of the, the connections here with Salt Lake with you going against Tommy and, and Mark? What are those group ch uh, text like or text messages like? Tommy owes me. That's 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 the bottom line, okay? I gave him his first opportunity. Um, hired him. His mom knew my, uh, my or his JC coach knew my mom and uh, so uh, Walla Walla Pomeroy connection. Um, and I told, I, I promised uh, Jeff Rhineland that he could uh, have a position when I, and when I took off, I had three or four different um, uh, promises that I'd made. I think Kyle Bank had to walk on, Scott Snyder to be the DBO, all those things. So Mark, of course, just, I helped him get the job and he's new. Yeah, 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 yeah. So w about two weeks after I get back to Minnesota and uh, we're both reeling with these new jobs and we're talking and about halfway through the conversation, Mark says, uh, this grad guy you got here, what's his name again and what did you promise him? And, uh, and uh, I, I just laugh at that now because, you know, Tommy is Tommy, whoever he is, and one of the best coaches in America and making enough money to buy my pizza last night. And I get, I, I'm a little bit late. We get there late last night. And it was uh, the Few family and uh, the Lloyds and us. And, those are the things, as you said, you just cherish in these thing, deals. That's above and beyond uh, the game is is the relationships, and that's something that I've reflected on this week. You know, to watch uh, Marcy Few taping his, the boys and my nephew watching the last 30 seconds of our game, coaching it, and Mark not being able to, you know, sit down and yelling at the TV. Those are precious. And last night when I when we go to the pizza place and we're we're a little bit late. Tommy tries to give me some grief. I said, Tommy, we've been putting in that Princeton office for three days now. It's, it's complicated. It took a little extra time today. So. Uh, Austin Getz with KHQ and Spokane coach. Just Gonzaga's on this incredible run of consecutive tournaments, which started with you. Just how much pride do you take in, in being you know, one of the first to make this long run and also being there in 95 as well? The Zag father, the dog father, I got to have a name for that, right? I got to be... Because that's that's my claim to fame. I can't be I can't be known as the, the only guy to get fired and work in the NCAA tournament for free. Um, I, I, that's got to be my legacy is starting that, and I'm super proud of it. You know, and and uh, and my only regret is is that that Elite Eight run was the second year of my career as a head coach, and I didn't realize just how special it was or how you know I just. Uh, uh, how hard it is, and so, you know, for the Zag people, you know, it's just uh, Selection Sunday, and and uh, uh, you know, the NCAA tournament is part of their culture. For me, it's it's something that that I cherish, and uh, and uh, it's something that uh, I'm so grateful for because my kids, you know, were were you know at, at younger ages, at 12 years ago, the last time we we're here. And for them to not just experience, but one be on my staff and one be playing for me, you know. The only bummer is, is that my daughter, who's the captain of the crew team uh, at Gonzaga, was not able to get out of practice today. I'm going to get that coach someday. You know, he was uh, awesome. He, 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 he made it happen last week. But, you know, obviously uh, th this is a uh, you know, second week. You can't do that. But... But uh, for her to be able to be there last week, my, and that was what was so special last week, is that, that um, I had just, you know, God, God looking over me or something. But before any of this happened, my parents at 90 years old, you know, had scheduled to, to travel that tournament. For, and they hadn't, they hadn't been on a plane in two years since they went there two years ago. My, all four of my uh, kids were there. My two sisters were there to help my parents. So as I'm waking up every morning wondering if this is my last game, 
I have my, all my family with me, and that's where it's like, I, okay, I don't need a job. I got everything I need right here, and it was just a great perspective week. But I'm, I'm rambling, but the Gonzaga thing is, you know, they can't ever take that off my resume, you know, and I'm super proud that, you know, obviously sustaining it and what Mark has done is incredibly more difficult and, and the, the mind-blowing part, but, but I was there at the beginning, and that's something that, that, uh, that uh, I'm super proud of. Okay, we have, time for a couple, we have time for a couple more questions. We'll go with this gentleman here, and then this gentleman here. Damian Alameda, 13 News Tucson. Dan, what is your earliest memory of Tommy Lloyd? <laughs> uh, wow. Um, I don't think I don't think my earliest memory of Tommy Lloyd or Mark Few or Billy Greer or any of the Zag people are are ones that I can really describe because we're all uh, hard charging youngsters. As I as I said last night, I'm just glad they didn't have cell phones when we started. You know, uh, it was uh, uh, you know I, we, there was a lapse there because I never really. Uh, uh, we worked for him. I just hired him. Uh, uh, but, but I guess uh, there, you know, um, Jeff Ryan, who sold him to me, kind of, kind of gave a, a different impression of him, that he was uh, this kind of uh, well-mannered, quiet, uh, uh, basketball-only uh, guy, and he certainly was basketball-only, but. Uh, he had a lot more personality, I guess you, you would want to say, than than was advertised, and more um, more our, our players call it your bag, you know, more more pieces to his uh, personality than maybe uh, any of us uh, wanted to say or see, and uh, I think that's about as far as I can go with that. I'm trying to, I'm really trying to, to, but but he was just one of us. I mean, Tommy's a guy's guy, and Tommy. You know, last night he's like, "Hey, I got my two mentors here, the two that got me." And it was, it was, it was emotional in a good, funny, joking way, as we always do. And and uh, the Zag family is deep, and it's thick, and it's why Gonzaga's still going where it is. And Tommy Lloyd had a lot to do with it. I'm still going to run the Princeton offense on him by the tomorrow. <laughs> I know that works. Dan Fahey, Gregorian, Kansas City Star. Um, I, you've probably said this in as many words, but I wonder if this has become sort of a this is your life moment that it wouldn't have been without the firing. And if somehow that's kind of amplified all these feelings that maybe you wouldn't have ever experienced the same way. I, I, I think that's 100% true, you know. Uh, I'm not thanking them for firing me for any means, but I, I think uh, life is life and, and how you... You know, some of it is good and some of it's bad, and how you pivot through it defines who you are. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, people people look at me and say, "Hey, he's, you know, he had a great job. I mean, what are we feeling sorry for him? He had 17 years driving that car, and it was a great ride. And it was, I knew the car was uh, leased. I mean, and they wanted the keys back. I, you know, but they, but." But it's not insured this week, but I still get to drive it, you know? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it on the road, you know? The road to the Final Four, I'm gonna try to keep it on there. And, and yeah, I, I don't, I, I, you know, it's, it's, sometimes you need to step back and say, I've got it pretty good. And uh, this is how it allowed me to do that, you know? And it's been, it's been a very uh, emotional, spiritual, whatever, however you wanna put it, uh, I've been on my knees this week more times than, than not, you know. I mean, it's been very uh, good to, to know that I'm in a good place, and uh, I'm looking forward to next year, and I don't even know what it is. But as I tell my players, I'm not worried about anything but tomorrow. I mean, we're, got, we're, we're trying to stay in the moment, and staying in the moment has been pretty good to us this week. Okay. Um. We are also on Zoom. If any of our Zoom attendees would like to ask a question, please raise your hand now. Uh, for those here in attendance, Roger Kirk is the Sports Information Director here, uh, and he can help with any other further questions you may have for Coach. Uh, we are 
Get trying to get ready for our next press conference at 11.05. All right. Seeing none, well, I'll, uh, I'll, what, what's, well I'll, I'll see you guys on Friday, right? <laughs> Thank you, Coach, and good, best of luck tomorrow. Tell Tommy I said that.